Hi guys, and welcome to this tutorial for Electronica. In this video, I'm going to cover keyboard mapping. Keyboard mapping allows you to map keys from your computer's QWERTY keyboard to controls in Electronica. For this video, I've created a simple set with a VOUT module at the top, a VMIX module, and a QT player. To map keys to Electronica module controls, we need to switch to the mapping tab by clicking on this button at the bottom left of the window. In order to map a control, select the desired control by clicking on it. The selected control will be surrounded by a blinking box and its name will be displayed at the top left of the main window here. Next, click on the box at the bottom left here and press the key on your keyboard you want to map to it. The mapped key will now be displayed in this box. There are several different types of mapping you can create, depending on the control being mapped. For button type controls, like this play button here on the QT player, you can either make a switch mapping or a press mapping. A switch mapping is the equivalent of toggling a switch on or off. A press mapping will cause a control to be on momentarily for as long as you hold the keyboard key down. Switch and press mappings are available for buttons, sliders, and rotating controls. In the case of sliders and rotating controls, they will act like a button going from fully on to fully off. Note that when using switch mappings, the initial state of the control is important. I'm going to set this control to fully on, and this one to fully off. Now I'll map them both to the A key on my keyboard with a switch mapping. When I press the A key, notice how the upper control goes from on to off, while the lower one does the opposite. If I now change these to a press mapping and press the A key, they both go back to off when I let go of the key on my keyboard, even though the upper one was initially on. For selected controls, for example the video bank on this QT player, you can either make a select mapping or a cycle mapping. With the select mapping, each selection is mapped to a different key. Note that the mappings go down before they go across, so this mapping represents the second video, and this one represents the fifth video. With the cycle mapping, one key is used to cycle through each of the selections. Some controls have multiple parameters, for example the color picker on the VR module. This drop down box at the top left of the main window allows you to pick which parameter to make a mapping for. To the right of the drop down box, you can see which value is affected. The timeline on the QT module is another control with multiple parameters, as are the XY pads on modules like Dimension. Note that certain controls can't be mapped. There's usually the drop down boxes, for example the output selector on the V out. It is possible to map one key to several controllers. Controls which currently have a keyboard mapping display a white outline around the control. To clear a mapping, select it, click the mapping input box here at the bottom left, and then press the escape key on your keyboard. It's not possible to make mapping with certain keys. These are the spacebar, the enter key, escape key, print screen, and pause slash break. The program does allow you to map the tab key, but in practice this doesn't work because tab is used to switch to the back view of the rack. I also just recommend using the control, alt, windows, and other function keys to make mappings. You can't use key combinations to make mappings, so for example it's not possible to map the exclamation point by pressing shift and one at the same time. This will simply map one. Keyboard mappings are independent of presets, so you can't use presets to change mappings during a set. Mappings are saved when you save your set though. Unlike MIDI mappings, which I'll cover in the next video, keyboard mappings only work while the electronica window has focus. So if I click outside of the main window on the desktop, pressing a mapped key will have no effect. Okay, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below or on the Facebook group. And subscribe to my channel for more electronic tutorials.